I promised you magic. Another world. Before you, Jerry, lies Mousewood. Wow! Here you will complete your training. But where's the school? And, and all the teachers nice? This world is more magical than yours. Its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. This world will be your school. And its inhabitants will teach you many things. This place may seem unusual to you, but soon it will be an important part of your life. And then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. Ooh. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's a squirrel. I love this game. Wait, what? Oh, hello. <laughs> what way he's going? I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here. I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. Uh, all right. <laughs> Wow, being this small is really interesting. Who would have thought that mice have towns? Well, hey! Let's talk to this one, this wee scordette. Have you seen Plato the Frog by any chance? I've been waiting here for a package from the Super Squirrel Boutique for Smart Squirrels. Super Squirrel Boutique? <laughs> That's a funny name. Oh, really? So what's your name? Me? I'm Jerry. Oh, I think Jerry is a very funny name. And I bet you don't make drop-dead stylish accessories. Um, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You see, I'll just keep waiting for Plato and my package then. Oh... Maybe I should have left town with my cousin Edgar, instead of standing here and thinking about how the crows could come back at any time. It just feels creepy, but I've just got to have my package. Excuse oh. me, but no time. Got to practice. There's a birthday party this evening at the Hares, and I'm prepping to go. Well, hey! What a strange looking squirrel. He looks so daring. Like he has a lot of stories to tell. Daring? Hmm. No, no, not at all. Don't you see all these maps? What, what? Oh, so you're a map maker. Oh, m -m 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 hardly. I'm a traveler. Is this your first time in Mousewood? No, come and see me later at the barrier. Just walk up the ramp to the right of the town gate. Blue juice, tasty and blue, a quality product from the Wood Dwarves. Why did I have to find this stupid thing? Oh no, um, oh no. Hello? Is everything okay? Psst, is there, is there someone behind me? I think I'm being haunted by a ghost. I, uh, I, I don't think you are. At least I don't see anybody. I can't see anyone either, but I know someone is there. You find one strange book in the woods, can't understand a single word, and then they stick you with a ghost. Isn't that just typical? I get all the luck. Oh, there really is someone oh. behind you. Oh! Now he's gone. I knew it! Oh, lucky me. Oh, how liberating. What did the ghost look like? Mm, well, he had a pebble head, and uh, his arms were twigs and leaves. Really? That must have been a wood sprite. 
I didn't think they were real. You know what? Here, take it. I found it in the woods. Maybe the book belongs to the wood sprite. If you see him, you can give it back to him. Okay. <laughs> uh, I thought it was cursed or something. <coughs> Hello? Wow. The mouse with the backpack gave it to me. It's full of writing I can't read. I wonder whether it belongs to that mysterious wood sprite. Oh, hey, there you are. Come, Jerry. I want to introduce you to someone. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm Revy Kitsuni. And you are, must be the wise owl and the wise squirrel. Wet squirrel, I presume. Please excuse this sudden trespass, honored owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan, this is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> oh, but, but that's holy Dormouse. Those eyes. Eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy, but my parents said he was one of the first tree walkers. I was not the first, but I knew him. Ooh the Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. I am here to request support for him so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah, magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. And we thought the tradition of the tree walkers had been lost. Ooh, what? Magician's apprentice, please hold your horseflies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? <laughs> I trust that you can take care of yourself. It's still summer vacation. This is your adventure, Jerry. Do you think you could do it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. Absolutely. Oh, stop! Don't step on the books. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's needs I didn't click on anything. and keeps mixing them up again. Huh? Halt! Hey, something to read. Harry Otter and the Chamber of That <laughs> Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's but Con I always <laughs> I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> I always tell people. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. I got me hit on him. Right. Let's go to the cafe. It sure smells good in here. Kind of like herbal drops. Huh? Ring the bell. Extravagant. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, she's a very pretty mouse. My name is Anya. Welcome to my little tree trunk cafe. Hello, I'm Jerry. 
Oh, you're sweet as sugar. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to order blue juice and baked goods for the treetop festival. Oh, is it that time again? How nice. I will bake lots and lots of cupcakes. And what about this blue juice? I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. Hmm. That noise just now, that sounded dangerous. But of course, dangerously tasty. I'm creating something that no one in Mousewood has ever seen. Exploding cookies. Yeah, but wouldn't an exploding cake be better? Trust me, sugar cube. It will be pancake-tastic. I hope the boy I'm babysitting will have real fun with them. The little Humbert is a bit difficult. Everyone thinks he's a nasty, spoiled brat, but he's just under-challenged. Poor gifted child. Maybe my new cookies will keep him on his toes. About the blue juice. I'm sorry, sugar, but they haven't uh. delivered. They live at the. See you later. Take care. Something's not right here. A whole barrel full of little cakes, and yet nobody's eating them. Strange, isn't it? These cupcakes are Uli's favorite. Made with herbs from his pharmacy. Try one. Oh, come on. Just a little nibble. Sorry, but I'd rather not play lab rat for the herbal cupcakes. Lab rat? Is that what they call scientists where you come from? Uh, uh no. no. It's, uh, it's not important. One thing I need to do is leave. Oh, I got it safe. Oh, yes, for sure. Right. Let's visit him. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzweg. No need to be formal with me. <coughs> By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a Suslik. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why aren't you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable craftspeople here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading for the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? Now he if is. You could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop. Oh, no problem. You'd be doing me a big favor. No problem. I'll take care of it. Was well, we need to go down to the Cobrook War to find the um the dwarf, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble for things. Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. 
Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around Masswood, they're invisible, they steal tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? Hmm. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> Oh, somebody's there. A little green man with a hat. I knew it! We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah! May the snakes take me! Johnny cats and fly specks! Hail and mud puddles! He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. What? Stop! Oh no, the thief is gone. I have to go after him. <clears throat> yes, let's go after a leprechaun. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. Hmm. Oh. Ha! The Shadrach Ripper certainly won't find me here. There he is again. Stop. Ha! I'm standing on a Shadrach. It's magic. It gives me strength. Aye. I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. <sighs> I don't know where he's going. Oh my word. The mic has been dropped. I'm looking. It has. Oh, let's go back here. Johnny Cats and Fly Specks. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get the <coughs> shamrock. Something about this pumpkin is different. It's round and big and orange. I can't put my finger on it, but something about it is different. Use a stick. A stick won't help here. That doesn't need to be sweetened with honey. <laughs> Uh, can I take the rake? What a sturdy looking rake. It probably belongs to the hare family. It could come in useful. Hey! Hey, you! What are you doing with our family rake? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just borrowing it for a moment. Last night the wind blew all these leaves onto our lawn. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't gonna rake themselves. Hmm. True that. <sighs> there he is again. You've got the wrong man. I've done the hunt. He's gone again. A sticker. <laughs> it's too cute. I think that was it. I don't know why, but I probably had to collect the raindrops. I think that was it. And stickers and all these. But that doesn't need a sturdy rake. Aww. What? What the 
was. I think that was it. I think that was I think that was Yeah, Toby these. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although, that wouldn't be a problem, because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. R ridiculously low. At Church Mouse and Sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The traveling merchants, Church Mouse and Sun, have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. Even though you don't know you want it, will want it, or will need to have wanted it. You talk like an actor. I have a funny you should say that, <laughs> but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? The church mouse and son have everything. Mm. I'm afraid I don't have enough money. Well, then... Take this one time only, a small uh, but exquisite promotional gift. A, a, a red thread for you. Here, uh, let me tie the thread to your uh, amusing round coin. Which, by the way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Son uh, whenever you need exquisite things. Things of every kind. Pretty things, tall things, small things, white things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Silly things. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouse and Son. But don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son so that I can retire to the Coconut Palm Islands. What? <laughs> he brings out the picture. They're still saving up enough money for the trip. Isn't that right, Junior? He doesn't Junior. talk, no matter what. That's, Thank you. That's I'll all he sure does. Come in if I need things. Need things. Oh, we have stuff all too. he does is just oh, stand here and stare blankly with his junk. dead eyes. Things, stuff, and junk. Now you've got it. Like, as oh. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel Jonathan has already seen me. Hmm. He's waving his cane. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. At least, not while someone's looking. <laughs> I think that was it. Some of these are actually adorable. I like them. <sighs> I think that was like I don't know what else to do. I think that was it. I think that was it. Hello. Why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Mm hmm. That's just very tiring. Ah. <sighs>
Ugh.